Hi everyone and thank you again for watching Gaffer and Gear. Today's episode is oddly by request. So last night I put up a very quick video, I didn't even shave or wear a decent shirt, um, explaining using the Aperture MC Pro as a CRMX receiver. Um, some things I got wrong in the initial review. Now as a result of that episode, I've had a lot of people message me um, this morning saying, can I please, please, please test the Aperture MT Pro with the Aperture DMX adapter cable and see if we can use the Aperture MT Pro as a CRMX receiver, because a lot of you have this. All you've got to do is buy the adapter cable and you've possibly got a CRMX receiver. Okay, so here's what I found. Uh, if I use the Amaran cable, uh, which is the cheaper cable, this does not work at all as a CRMX receiver. None of the lights receive uh, a CRMX command at all. Now, if I use the more expensive Aperture uh, cable, it's only six US dollars more, which, and the Aperture cable has this box on it, so that's how you can tell if you've got the correct one. This works superbly as a CRMX receiver, but here's the thing. If you've been trying to use this combination, you can't get it to work, here's the problem that you've probably got, and it's taken me the best part of today to figure out what the issue is. And the issue is a firmware issue. So whatever start address you've got the uh, Aperture MT Pro set to for its operation, that becomes DMX address one when you output the DMX further down the line. All right, so connect that up, hook it up to the sky panel. As I change the DMX address here, um, it does affect the sky panel in the background. Okay, you see that? So it's definitely the start address on the MT Pro is affecting the DMX out addresses. So if you set it to address one, and lock it, I'm sure they're going to fix this in a firmware update, then everything works properly. So I've got the sky panel set to uh, DMX address one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful and really smooth. Really, really smooth operation. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. And just to double check everything's working fine, uh, let's disconnect from the sky panel and plug it into the, uh, the Forza 720B here, which I've got on a start address of 11. So uh, let's turn the sky panel off. And there we go, the 720B is working beautifully. So yes, you can use the MT Pro as a CRMX receiver, but with the current firmware, it's, you've got to have the DMX start address set to one, otherwise it completely and utterly messes up all of your DMX start addresses when they go out.